This is where the coon climbed up on the barbecue, ripped the screen. We had to replace a section, so we decided to put in a little hinged piece here. Flops up in the summertime. You could have a barbecue and hand stuff through inside. It's kind of nice. This, of course, will go here for the winter. The generator comes home. It looks all nice. And I rigged this up so it's cleaner now and the leaves can't get in there. The idea is to keep all leaves and crap away from the house and out from under the house. This cut all the way back. Cut down two pine trees and one elm that was dead anyway. And these were too close to the house. And then burned out a lot of this stuff. Moved a bunch of rocks. Broken glass everywhere. And uh, cut everything back here. Also made a little more of a edge around this thing here. Watch your step. See this? Mm -hmm. Nice pathway here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is the marina. Here's the deck, lounge area, uh, musicians' performance stage. And uh, Pier 1 and Pier 2 over here. And there's two jet ski ramps right here, as you can see. You pull right up, and it's pretty James Bondish. You literally drive right up on the ramp, hop right off your jet ski. None of this clumsy, oh, 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 falling on crap. And uh, there's my collection of deadheads, all virgin lumber and logs that have been sitting on the bottom of the lake for up to 150 years. They're, some of them are huge. The one in the middle of the square cut, that was a log from the lock. They use those to control the lake level at the, at the weir dams in Bob Cajun. That's at least 100 years old, cut 100 years ago. All right, and uh, that concludes this. Oh no, what? Oh, and out there you have the remnants of the Burning Man 2012, <clears throat> which was 14 feet high, I'm sure I have plenty of video of that. And I built a bonfire out on the reef there, and I was going to light it off last night, but it was just too cold and lonely, so I may just leave it for my friend Dan to take care of. We're at 2012, it's November 16th, closing up the cottage. This is the last visit. First we start dock. One section out on poles, rocks to weigh it down, chains to hold it all together. Boathouse doors must go down. Boat's loaded up, there's Debbie. She's puking. She had a little rough night last night. <laughs> Doggy's ready to go. The boat all wrapped up. Jet ski, Zerman's boat. Which is, if it's not gone in two weeks, it's a wreck. But anyhow, notice. Goodbye, Bunky. Hope no one violates you again. Gotta get Debbie going on the jet ski. Pulling away 2012. Zerman's boat is still there. dawn heading back to the states saying goodbye to Kathy it's 
starting to rain. Time to get in the pod. Head back home. Here we go. Coming through Pennsylvania on 470. This is Pennsylvania Turnpike at the north end. Nasty rain. Gotta slow down to about 45. Up in the mountains here. Busted or something. 